When you want to apply for the permit for coming to Sweden uh, for the study purposes, you need to first go to the website called as Migrations Work It. You can go to the website and then you can change the language to English before applying for uh, a permit in Sweden is that to know the time for decision. In this case, you are applying for studying and researching in Sweden. So you're studying in Sweden and then you're applying for the first time and then it's studies in higher education. And then if it's online, in this case, you just go that there is no further information asked from you, but it depends on your, how complete your application is. So in certain cases, the case officer might ask you for further information with which the time for your the decision might take uh, longer than it is anticipated. If you see, you can understand that the time for decision usually takes one to three months. That is in case if you don't have any further information to be provided. So this is the whole process like the migration receives your application. It goes into queue and then there's a case of alerted and then there is for, uh, then you get the decision yes or no. Once you get the decision yes or no, you have to go uh, provide the biometrics. But one thing most people don't know is that uh, for providing the biometrics, you don't have to necessarily wait for the decision. Once your application is made, you can make an appointment with the respective embassy of your country and then you can go there and provide your biometrics. Uh, your passport is the important document in that particular case. This can actually speed up the whole process of you receiving the card way early. It's just that you need to go to the respective uh, Swedish embassy in your country to know where your embassy in your country is and how to reach them you can go to the website called as swedenabroad.sc where you can type the country name here in my case it's india it gives you complete information of what currently the embassy of sweden is it's important to know that how specific your country's embassy works to actually reach out to them and know how to go about with your permit details so in certain cases uh, you might have to take uh, an appointment with the embassy to actually go and give you biometrics. It's very important to know what all is required before you submit your permit application online. So you have to keep all that information ready before you apply. Otherwise, you might end up getting further information from the case officer, which might lead to lengthening the time for receiving the permit. So it's always important to plan way ahead from the required time so that is why the time to decision is a very important component so that you can keep that buffer time and then apply for your permit another important information related to reaching the migration worker if you face with any issues you should reach out to uh, migration department in case you are not able to reach the embassy of sweden in your host home country you can definitely reach out to them and the contact us page in migration work at website helps you do that so it's very smooth the whole process if you want to reach out to them and then clear any doubts you can definitely do that just in case if you're not able to reach out to the embassy otherwise you can always reach out to the embassy in your country and then move forward this is just a small information it's not an exhaustive information about how to apply for a permit i have just mentioned where and how you can see all the information before the application. Here are the list of uh, videos coming up next in the series. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thank you.